Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you how to dynamically combine multiple tables like these into a table over here. One single table that updates. So when you have a one person update this table and one person update this table, then the consolidated table will be updated the moment you click refresh. This is a powerful feature that works across multiple versions of Excel and is really easy to do. So let me show you how. We're going to start with a one empty worksheet. We have a title up here. This is where the combined table will go. And then we have the other worksheets over here. Let's say that one person is responsible for each sheet or we import the data separately into each sheet. Either way, we have separate tabs of data and we need them on one tab. The first thing is to make sure that you have the same columns for every worksheet then turn it into a table. So click in here, hit control T or go to insert table. If you want, you can go to table design and rename it. This is market A and this over here is market B. Then we simply go to a data and right here, get and transform data from table slash range. And what we're doing now is using the power query editor to create what's called a connection to that data. We're basically just saying, hey, this is a data set that I want to work with, just so you know. So we don't have to do anything here. We can just now go to close and load to, then only create connection. Okay, here we have a market A in queries and connections. And if you hover over it, you get a nice little preview. Now all we have to do is that exact same thing for every table that we'd like to combine. So data from table range, close and load to, only create connection, and we're almost done. Next go to the data tab, get data, and combine queries. We have merge and append. Here all we want to do is to combine multiple tables, so we choose append. With two tables, you can use this simplified interface, but once you have more tables, three or more, this interface becomes much more helpful. You can select the desired table, click add, and you can rearrange them once they're over here. Hit OK when you're done. Now we're back in the Power Query Editor where you can make whatever changes you need to make to the data before it goes back into the worksheet. But in this simple example, we are simply going to hit Close and Load To. And I would like to choose where it's going to go. So instead of a new worksheet, let's go to Existing Worksheet and get that out of the way. Over here to Consolidated, how about A3? Enter. There we go all of the data in one place. And if we go over here to market A, let's say we delete this row, go back to consolidated, it will not automatically update. We go to table design and refresh or data and refresh. And the row is gone. Now this is the most basic, simple way to do this using Power Query. There are so many amazing things that you could do. For instance, maybe we want a new column that says, hey, this data is for market A, this data is for market B. Maybe we want a sort, maybe we want a filter. There are so many cool things that you could do when combining data that are beyond this tutorial. But if you'd like for me to make a tutorial or a course on that, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get right on that. But thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And if you want to get the file that you see here, there's a link to it below this video. It's on teachexcel.com. It is completely free. As well, we have full Excel courses that teach you how to automate Excel, including combining, slicing, and dicing, and consolidating data. And it's well worth a look if you work every day in Excel and would like to save yourself hours and hours of time. That's all for this tutorial. Have a great day.